hopefully I'm finished actually getting all the bits off and just Anyway, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. In this video I'm gonna be doing back workout and it's currently quarter past six and then later on I'm gonna be going on a jog up in the park so I'll bring you along with me then. So right now I'm just gonna have some uh, oats with some mango. I'll show you new. I didn't put any sultanas in it because they're upstairs and I didn't go upstairs to get them because I'm so lazy. Give that a little taste. I'm actually having, I suppose, this is what you would call breakfast instead of a rice curry for once. But yeah, so I'm gonna have this now and then, yeah, I'll bring my dog with me later on as well. Um, I was able to keep a blast on, but see how things go. What are you doing, you little mad joke? Huh? How are you keeping, bro? Uh, anyway, I'm gonna do a workout in a bit after this breakfast, and then I'm gonna make a pre workout out of all this stuff here, if you know. So we have like green tea, decaffeinated, it's green, decaffeinated green tea, decaffeinated coffee, it's creatine, citrulline, malate, glutamine. Cacao powder, and maca powder. The maca powder is like an endurance uh, enhancement, I suppose. So, like, if you're uh, if you play any sport, I'd recommend getting maca powder. Like, you can get it out of little for like two euro, and then um, then I also take chlorella with that. This is just from my psoriasis, like, and um, they help clear up the skin, but. Chlorella is also like a super filled. Um, if you look on the back here, you can probably pause. You can see the amount of different like vitamins and minerals and micro minerals and stuff in it. There's a lot of stuff in it. So, um, but anyway, yes. Yeah, so I gotta do that. After I have breakfast, and then I'll see you out in the shed. So I will see you soon. Wrong way. God damn! Why do I always do the wrong way? New PR baby! Sorry everyone, I just finished up my workout there and I wanted to show you my curly kale. Um, yeah, so it's actually doing quite well. Uh, I'd say there's a lot more on the curly kale than the dinosaur kale. So, for future reference, I don't know, like, 
I'll see, I'll throw it out and see what it looks like. But well, here's the dinosaur kale over here. Yeah. I've almost used all of it up, but kale is a great source of vitamin A, C, iron, calcium folate, and I'm not sure about the rest, but um, yeah, if you're putting a shake, it's really easy to blend up. Um, a few of them's getting eaten, so I need to. I started taking the top leaves off that hasn't been ate yet because the ones that's on the bottom are all eaten, eaten or whatever. But um, yeah, so it's pretty cool, I think. Um, I never grew dinosaur kale before, but this is what you want. Anyway, I'm gonna go in now and probably make a rice curry since I didn't have it for breakfast. And yeah, that should be nice. So I'll see you in the house in a minute. Oh wait, actually, here's mint as well. Um, you usually buy that out of an ethnic store. I'll transplant it into probably something a bit bigger so it could grow a little bit more because I'd say it's probably 20. I'll probably get 20 uses out of that or something. But yeah, see you inside. Okay, so I'm just about to have lunch now and I'm just going to have some brown rice and then there's broccoli in there with some coriander and then there's some sauerkraut as well and I just threw a lot of spices and herbs in it and then some soy sauce as well because uh, I need to make my own stock cubes I think because turns out the ones I was using have like palm oil in that in them and like palm oil like the only oil that I know is good for you is avocado oil um, oops saw that can lower your LDL cholesterol um, so, and yeah, that can exacerbate, like, uh, for example, me, like, psoriasis, so, uh, yeah, I'm just using the soy sauce at the moment, but then again, like, there is a lot of salt in that, and I think ideally I'm supposed to have a low salt diet, but then again, I'm pretty sure the recommended sodium intake is, like, 3 grams, so that would be about 6 grams of salt. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna have this. It's a quarter past 12 and then I'll probably wait an hour and then go on a run or else go on a half hour walk right after this and then just like jog home or something. Wait, no, I'll be home way faster than that. So see what happens. I'd say, yeah, I could even do a bit of college work and then Farm around and then going to jog, come back, and I'll probably make a smoothie bowl then or whatever. So, um, yeah, I'll see you up the park. So, I'm about to go on a walk now, and every time I don't know how it has damaged the shit. Where are you? Relax yourself. Who are you barking at, pal? What's the story? Yeah. Okay, so I was stopped I stopped and talked to someone I knew, so uh probably only about like seven minutes in or something. But <laughs> nah, probably halfway to Fury Glen, that's about 3.4k away. Yeah, so it's raining. It was raining earlier, then it stopped. Now it's raining again, which I believe my food. It's alright though. Mum, bro. Well, it's all right. See you. Leg it, leg it, leg it, leg it, leg it. Go, go. All right, Mum, I was at the Fury Glen. This is my favourite part. What do you see? Come on. It's okay. Good boy. I felt Kermit. <sighs> so there's the deer 
Yeah. Doesn't look like we're gonna have a fenting moment today. Not like last time. Let's go. Mum! Legend. Okay, I'm just back at that run, so book. How are you feeling, bro? Um, this leg looks all right now, but oh. so I'll tell you the sus. Uh, my Fitbit here is saying I ran in an hour, one minute and 53 seconds. I, hold on one sec. Come on. Better be able to check now, actually. Is there history on this? Because, uh, it's just had to go. Oh. Well, it said like. Hold on one sec. I'm not sure how to get the history on it, but it says it born about 800 calories. I think it was about. It says 16,000 steps overall today. Uh, <coughs> if it's 800 calories, because it was definitely. It was probably about 7k or 8k or 9k, I'm not sure, but. Uh, yeah, it definitely feel like. I could keep it up, like I feel like uh, it's definitely easier to breathe, like I can uh, it feels a lot easier the more you do it, definitely. It was quite enjoyable actually, like because I ran up to the Forey Glen in the Phoenix Park and then I sort of, when you go up the steps that's near there, back towards the Pope's Cross and then just like home. Uh, I was going to stop like at the Pope's Cross, that's about 5k, but then I just like sort of ran home, but, but uh yeah, it was definitely enjoyable, like I am. Um, it wasn't really like a speed. I wasn't doing it, trying to beat like times or anything. Uh, it was more so just like, after the first five, 10 minutes, like, uh, your sort of, your glutes are warmed up and uh, I find like, if you stand more upright rather than, there's a certain way you stand and it feels like the weight's more so on your quads instead of like your glutes or whatever. And uh, it just feels a lot easier when you're sort of when you're in the groove of, groove of it. But um, yeah, I'm happy with that. Like uh, that's my second round this week. I think I done two last week and one the week before. So I'll probably I'll try four this week and uh, I'd say if I can. I'm thinking of uh, like might as well like trying for a half marathon. Like um, that's about if a marathon is 42 kilometers. I think. 27 miles or something. Uh, I definitely feel like there I could have ran like 10, 15k like at that pace I was going at. But uh, don't want to sound like too um, cocky or whatever because I think like obviously the longer the further distance you run like the more the harder it gets. So um, I won't make any predictions right now but uh yeah, that was a fair run, like, um, I'm happy with that. Yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this video, everybody. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in and watching another episode of What I'm Doing Today. Book you a little tension so you got. But, um, yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, and, yeah, just like to say, I fucking love every single one of you and I appreciate you. Um, if you've made it to the end of the video, feel free to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, that would help the channel out a lot. And, uh, I suppose I have to try and market myself better if I want to, um, I don't know, get myself out there. But it's just a, uh, this is just a possible option, you know. It seems like something you should probably do, maybe to get yourself out into the big wide world or whatever but um yeah that's gonna be it for this video everybody thanks for watching much love see you in the next one bye bye